Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Awesome. So today, uh, I'm going to do something that I've been avoiding for a while now. Uh, we've shot forward and did so much uh, in the overall pack. Uh, I really love that we got all the way down to environmental tech and opened up Draconic Evolution. But the mistake I made is I rushed, I guess, the left side here. And I kept going tech. And I haven't done magic at all. This side is all magic, and I have completely avoided magic, which uh, I, I do need to do mystical agriculture and blood magic to open up the bragging rights. And uh, so, like, I looked up what I should do. I looked up the Petal Apothecary, because if I unlock this, it unlocks these two. Which, that's, then I can just do the gates and unlock bragging rights and go to bragging rights. But uh, when I looked up, Batania will unlock uh, Mystical Agriculture. Which I really want to do Mystical Agriculture. But I looked up the gate for Mystical Agriculture. And it requires the Master Infusion Crystal. And this is all stuff that's magic. And it makes sense, because you're going down the other side of the tree. Um, so, I'd ha one, it has to be built in a celestial altar, so astral sorcery has to be done. The uh, metals I've been getting from the mob farm, but uh, resonating gem, astral sorcery, spark, batania. Uh, I have ender amethysts now, and then the seals are all batania, so I at least have to progress astral sorcery until I get a celestial altar. So that's what I'm going to take a, t a step back and I'm going to uh, start <laughs> start astral sorcery. So uh, let's do that real quick. Uh, I know I opened the gate very easily at the beginning of the mod because we mined an aquamarine and then I claimed it. Uh, so let's go astral sorcery. And then, yeah, I got the uh, the Astral Tome, which uh, I put into the storage, into the ME storage. And this is going to be the part where I hope I didn't shoot myself in the foot. Um, if, if Trin grabbed my Astral Tome and started working Astral Sorcery, that had all of the constellations in it. Uh, which will be a super bummer. But luckily for me, uh, Fossic Resonator came from the uh, loot box that uh, we did at the beginning of the game. And I made a luminous crafting table so that I could progress in something else way back when. I already forgot what it was. Uh, so let me grab those three things. Let me grab the constellation papers. I'm not sure if I can use these now. And I can uh, get the quest for the Luminous Crafting Table. That's one. Uh, and then <clears throat> open up this. So is it shift right click? Yeah, shift right click and you can cool. So these constellation papers are now different. So Decidia, Avidus, Armara. And it's Decidia again, which I think when we go find other locations, uh, now, when those papers drop, they will be different constellations, so not as bad as I thought. I thought all of them were going to show up as uh, uh, nothing new, like Decidia would be replaced with like the phrase, no, there's nothing to see here, or something like that, and I was hoping I wasn't, I was worried I wasn't going to be able to get any more constellations. So let's check this out. Oh my god, there's seriously two Endermen that are, uh, are, are messing with my stream right now. There we go. Thank you. And is there, like, a zombie right out here? He's, like, hiding in the shade. You for real, dude? He's probably hiding out the weather. Sorry, bro. Alright, let's go inside since it's raining outside. And let's check the uh, 
We got some dingers. That was pretty cool. Okay, cool. So yeah, the luminous crafting table, we got the dinger for that one. Uh, the cave illuminator. Awesome. Uh, I got those as quest rewards, actually, way back when. Uh, so let's jump jump into this. Resonating wand, I'm pretty sure, has to be built with the luminous crafting table. And one thing that I do know from uh, watching mod spotlights, so I'll give... Uh, Credit to Direwolf, of course. You know, everybody watches Direwolf's videos. I do too. And I'm giving him proper credit. I watched his mod spotlight. Uh, it's still fuzzy for me. You know, like I'm not, I'm not perfectly understanding it because I'm the type to learn by doing. So luckily for us, we have a Fossic res Resonator, which I'm actually, I think that's a great idea that, that the Fossic Resonator is a quest reward because this helps you find, uh, as long as you're holding it, it helps you find an area uh, where starlight is gathering. Like, if you're holding it, it'll show you purple smoke on the ground. And if it's a super special area, it'll be purple smoke and uh, little white sparkles that are, like, supposed to be starlight. Uh, so, one thing from watching other people play uh, I've learned, whoops, resed in the tree. I learned that if you build your astral sorcery in the, uh, twilight dimension, you will perpetually have starlight because it's always twilight there, right? Uh, yeah, let me grab my second wave. Uh, ender book. One ender book is for overworld, the other ender book is for uh, different dimensions. So here's the twilight portal, and let's go to the twilight. So I think that'll make, might make this episode a little bit more interesting. You know, if, if my uh, astral sorcery base is uh, built in, is built inside uh, the twilight. Is it seriously just raining in this one spot here? Oh no, it... Okay, it is raining. It was raining through a hole in the tree brush, I guess. I didn't know it rains. Oh, something is interfering with your flight. Okay, so yeah, creative flight does not work in, uh, in the twilight. So, uh, one thing I'm gonna do real quick is I'm going to go back to the overworld. I'm gonna grab my, grab my full quantum gear so that I have the jetpack and I'm gonna fly around in the twilight with the Fossic Resonator and find a perfect spot that has the purple and the, the sparkles and then I'll cut and I'll be right back. Okay, so I flew around for a bit in the twilight, got super bored, uh, looked up what other people do to find star fields and read a whole bunch of comments of people saying don't even worry about that uh, if you set up inside of a uh, inside of a um, astral temp astral sorcery what is this I'm totally distracted now uh, if you set up inside of an existing temple that has uh, a collector crystal in it you can link to the co collector crystal and it'll give you all the starlight you need for the for the beginning and wow this is totally new biome to me I wasn't expecting this I decided to fly in a direction that uh, I haven't explored yet so I guess this is like a volcano or something that's pretty cool I wonder if what like if there's anything like specific and cool about this biome. That's pretty neat. But yeah, I'm looking for a uh, any uh, anything astral sorcery, and uh, we'll set up shop there. There's one thing already. Maybe we can get a new pattern, not a pattern, a constellation while we're there. And I'll use my Silk Touch to grab the Sea Lantern. And let's change this to Dirt. Dirt. There we go. Let's 
Let's grab all this. We can use it for building material. Awesome. Nothing here, nothing here. And I'll leave those two things in there because I don't really need them. So let's see, if I open up my book, there is nothing here, there is nothing here. Uh, I guess I was wrong about, I thought it automatically changes to something you don't have yet. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm still, maybe I'm still effed. Hey look, mushrooms. Cool, I don't need them anymore, unfortunately. Let's see. There's another one. I absolutely love these lavender fields. Come on, buddy. Oops, I forgot to break the water door source right here. There we go. Hey Coot, how are you? Glad you're on stream. Today we're doing Astral Sorcery. There is nothing here, there is nothing here. I'm really hoping that I didn't mess myself up by not keeping the constellation papers. <laughs> All right, what we're looking for is one of the big astral sorcery buildings. And I've seen these things around and this is just weird to me. Like, I don't know if this is a mechanic, but it's astral sorcery marble but from what I've done, I've mined these things before, and there's nothing special about these things. So maybe it's just a... Uh... Let's see, yeah, there's nothing special about these things. All right, let's keep going. Whoop. Not sure if it's lag or if it's just being difficult. The teleport staff should be working each time I click, though. There's another one. Oh, have I been here? Yeah, I've been here before because I cut the center out of that one. Whoop. There we go. And there's nothing here, there's nothing here. Oh, I'm so worried now. All right, let's see. Where have I not been? Okay, we're going this way. Hmm. That weird building again that has nothing in it. Finding a lot of these small ones. And since I'm exploring, it's going to be laggy. There is nothing here. There is nothing here. Ah. Uh... I, th I could have sworn they said if you put it in your inventory, it assigns itself a constellation. There is nothing here. Ugh, I don't know. I hope I didn't. I hope I didn't mess myself up. That looks like an eclipse. Let me grab my thermometer and some paper. Let's scan the moon. Whoop, there goes my paper. Uh, 
Scanning ferns, really? Okay. All right, so let's go put this back, the paper and the thermometer. That celestial notes lunar new. I can put that to good use. And let's throw the marble in here for now. Or what am I doing? Marble, come here. I'll throw you in this. I never use my dank null. I really should be. Especially for this astral sorcery stuff, because that'll just go straight into my dank. And that is pretty dank. Nice long awkward pause with that terrible joke. <laughs> when that thir uh, when the thermometer was sparkling on the ground, part of me got excited because I thought I found uh, a starry a starlit area, and I was like, "Oh wait, no, no." Oh. Equal amount of uh, excited and let down at the same time. <gasps> oh. I wonder what the flashing, I think the flashing on the teleport staff, I'm used to just spamming it. It probably has, like I thought the cooldown is the uh, the little bar that goes down. I thought that was the cooldown. But uh, I guess it needs to flash between red and back to green before you can use it again. Which that wasn't, I don't think that's the way I used it in Continuum. Let's see. I know I'm flying way too high to it be able to uh, use the Fossic Resonator. Well, maybe I should. Instead of teleporting, maybe I should hold the Fossic Resonator and fly closer to the ground. Got a compressed spider. There's a dragon. Let's kill the dragon, uh, just because it drops dragon hearts. No, oh, thank you. Bye. And exploding spider. Boom. Bye. All right, so let's loot the dragon heart. Got the dragon heart. Come on, buddy. There we go. All right, let's switch back. I'll keep this out just in case. We can drop this and this, and we don't need any more bones. That and, wow, when did I? I must have vein mined the lavender by accident. Get rid of that and that and this. I'll keep the skull and the scales. And the heart. The flower, I'll keep the lavenders. Uh, that and the skull. And hold that again and put this away out of the way. And let's get some food out since I am being very reckless. Fossic resonator. I think this is one of those. Oh, look at this. Oh, yes. Yes. I'm glad. Coot, you're my my good luck. Awesome. Not aiming very well. Awesome. Where to go? Here it is. Awesome. This is exactly what I was looking for, and I was planning on settling. 
Uh, so what I'm going to do is, let me find, where is the center? It is about here. So right about here. And I have a cr really cool idea. I want to build a flying astral sorcery uh, installation and make the bottom like circular, like all of the pot. So kind of like a sky block. Dude, stop interrupting me. And I can't even see where to shoot. Was it the witch? No. Oh, it's basals. Shoot into the darkness. I hit it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I want to make it uh, like a flying uh, installation where the bottom is kind of circular and looks like it's being held up by, let's say, anti-gravity kind of. So let's see. And I have an OCD about divisible by five. So if I'm standing on it, let's see, blah, 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 marble bricks, marble. So when I'm standing on the platform, Y level 100 sounds amazing for me. And yes, I am that weirdo. So let's go one, two, three. Four, five, and I'll vein mine the dirt. And hopefully, yes, I was standing on. Go away. I was standing on sand. So I wasn't worried about it uh, vein mining. All right, so yeah. Testing. I'm so happy, so happy. I feel so incredibly lucky that I found this spot. People online were talking about it being dreadful. Nice! So if I build the platform up here, it moves the starlight to here. So let's grab my wand. And let's do one, two, and three. And then one two, three, and I believe I was this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. Okay, cool. Nine by nine in the sky. Let's make sure with the Fossic Resonator again. Is it gonna show up here? Oh, it only shows at nighttime, I think. And right now we don't have any way to change change it to night. But I think it I think it's part of Astral Sorcery. So let's do this and in the center, we'll put down our luminous crafting table. How does that look? All right. And then uh, the reason why I was flying over here is I was going to vein mine this stuff away, which is that a collector crystal? Yeah. OK, cool. So I'll grab that and this here. And let's destroy these blocks real quick. That one, that one, there. 
the right one. Sweet. And let's see. There is nothing here. There is nothing here. Ah, uh, I'm so worried that I'm not going to be able to. Floating crystal. This is what I was looking for originally. And... Wow. I wonder why the vein miner is going crazy now. I was vein mining earlier and it wasn't machine gunning through everything. So I'll grab that so we can build some more. Oh, and before before I do something super silly, let's mark this place. So this will be my astral. Astral platform. Let's see, does that look weird? Yes, it does. I'll just name it Astral. Nope. Nice. So now I don't have to worry about teleporting real quick and forgetting where I was. Eat some chimichangas. Let's go. And bone, skull, reds, this, that, this, here. Huh. Silk. Oh, maybe Hastister and Hastistist. Maybe that's the difference in the mining speed. I meant to use my Silk Touch. So now we don't need the Fossic Resonator anymore. So we found our spot. Uh, I'll keep the wand off to the side. So let's check the book out. Let's see what the book wants us to do. Uh, we need to make a resonating wand. And the resonating wand requires aquamarine and ender pearl and any kind of marble. Let's see. When using a crafting table near any one of the strange crystals in the ancient ruins. So let's do that down there real quick. Let's work down there with the crystal for right now. And hopefully no mobs will drop down on us. Um, and I really don't think I can reach with my wireless device right now. Uh, I think it's this one. I have two wireless devices now because of uh, my space station. Yeah, wireless out of range. So good thing I marked this location. Uh, we'll... Go to the sorting facility and grab some supplies. We needed aquamarines. Let's grab four stacks and we need ender pearls. Let's grab four. And then let's teleport back. Astral. Good thing I marked it before teleporting to get supplies. Uh, and then oh, I guess I should have marked the ender book, ender portal here as well, but I'll switch books for right now. Let's see, we need to put this guy down. All right. Yeah. Like this. Like that. Or is that too high now? Can it go up or can it only go down? Let's just put you down lower. 
Okay, yeah, it has to be down more. Hmm. Do I want to block this off? Mobs are going to fall in here. Uh, let's at least do this. Like that. So we got it claimed so nothing can explode when creepers come and ruin our party. So we need... Wow! Wait. Daytime. And I got a full bar? Is that normal? That's weird. Alright. Let's put you down here. And we can use the wand. Like this. Whoop. And let's go here and use the wand. And I know this looks silly. But the, I'm doing double duty right now. I'm going to make walls so creepers don't bother us. And also set these guys down so that I can uh, use my fortune pick on them. This is how the noobs do it. Cool, and that's all of that. All right, and let's grab my fortune pick. Put that away. And I, last thing I need to do is vein mine. So <laughs> let me just knock these down one at a time. Cool, yeah, like they'll fall. And which is kind of cool, but unnecessary. I just need there to be walls high enough to have creepers not bother me. 14. Uh, let me grab some of the marble, and let's see, resonating wand. Oh, and I can't plus. Can it be made in a regular crafting? Wait, what? That's not the one I'm looking for. Oh, uh, these are the... Ones that are attuned. Amara Vicio. It wasn't a resonating wand. It was. Ah, man. It was a resonating wand. So let me just do the, the, the one that it shows in the book uh, marble, aquamarine, and an ender pearl. Nope. This is the same problem that Trinity ran into, like none of her stuff was working. Not normally possible, the simplest of which is a basic one that is capable of interacting. Yes. When it is held in either hand at night, it vibrates and emits energetic sparkles of white light that gather in seemingly random locations. This is how you find rock crystals by holding it. Maybe there's something deep underground. So resonating wand. Let's see. Maybe they, I don't know if they changed the recipe because I did update the pack. So let me grab some Salus Mundus. Which makes sense because Thomcraft is required to uh, progress to Astral Sorcery. So maybe that's the reason why Trin was having issues is because they changed the recipe. Salus Mundus is three types of V crystals, redstone and a bowl and flint and bowl. Bowl. Flint. Redstone. 
V. Nope. There we go. Give me stacks. There we go. And then let's see if I can just make this in the crafter. Uh, resonating run. Resonating wand. Okay, I guess I can just make it in a crafter. That's good to know. Uh, I'll put the Salus Mundus back up and I'll put these up. And uh, we'll call the first episode of two right here with the resonating wand. So uh, thank you for watching and tune in tomorrow.